TIFU by buying my 8 Yonis granny panties. I bought my 8 Yonis granny panties. This happened on Sunday. My sister has just moved back to Ohio from Texas. This was the first birthday party and it meant a lot more than just a party for an 8 yo. It's the first time we've celebrated with them. She's 8 yo. It's a big deal. I have 4 kids who are 10, 9, 8, 7. When we walked into the dollar store, intending only to buy a bunch of cheap makeup, my 7 yo suggested we get her a bra as a joke along with the real presents. The others agreed that this would be hilarious but decided 3XL granny panties would be even better. I agreed and said we should get her some other gags as well e.g. beef jerry, light bulbs, dish gloves etc. We get a large bag that says, happy birthday, and a small canvas, princess bag. I spend $74 at the dollar store on all kinds of makeup, brushes, a few gag gifts, bag of balloons, some tissue paper, a 99 cents pink tablecloth and the two bags. We put all of the good stuff in the princess bag and laid it at the bottom of the big bag. We stuffed the tablecloth onto the princess bag to create a false bottom. We layered each gag gift between colorful tissue paper. The kids and I had a blast putting this together. Laughing the whole time. We got her a ton of makeup. It's what she's into and her mom said it was okay. We arrive at the party only to realize we'd miss the gift opening portion. Due to a soccer game that couldn't be missed. We left before any of it happened. The kids weren't devastated but it was easy to tell they were disappointed. I didn't want to be a special case and have my niece open our gift apart from everyone else's side. Had my sister and her husband promised to video. Lo and behold. After driving 40 minutes to the soccer game. We finished just in time to drive 40 minutes back and join the gift opening. The kids insisted we make the drive so we did. At this point in the day. I'm wishing I hadn't said anything about it. I mean. I no longer needed a video. I was a little frustrated by the drive but this reaction was going to be worth it. Tons of laughs from kids and adults. I'd give the kids all the credit and everyone would commend them. Well. As you know by now. It didn't go as planned. My niece didn't get confused or pause for any of the gags but rifled through them quickly. She didn't pretend to like any of the gags. Like the videos you see on YouTube. She didn't even pull half of the gags out of the bag. She was digging through the bag hastily looking upset and annoyed. Meanwhile the room is completely silent. No one understands what's happening. The one girl I had told ahead of time is pointing at me and laughing silently. My young children can feel the room change and know this is going south. So much so that my oldest two jump up to try to explain to her that it's a joke just as my niece. Reaches the bottom row of the gags. She pulls out the three pack of 3XL granny panties on a hanger and chucks them across the room in. One fluid motion. She did it so quickly that many people had no idea what it was or why it happened and, and began speculating out loud she runs out of the room down a hallway and out of sight my niece then locks herself in the bathroom for a long time while my two daughters plead with her to see if there's anything else in the bag explaining that the good stuff is at the bottom meanwhile i'm explaining what's happened to the adults and taking 100 percent of the blame Everyone left right afterwards while my niece still had tears in her eyes. One of those traumatic experiences that, I think, she'll remember for the rest of her life. Did I mention that it's also the first time I've seen or talked to my parents in three years? My sister insists that it was funny and my niece is going to be fine. My brother-in-law laughed the whole time because he could see in the bag but I definitely effed it. Up for the birthday girl. The other guests and my parents. TLDR. Bought gag gifts for 8 yo girl. Ruined her b-day and maybe her life. Edit. Obviously it wasn't funny. For what it's worth we didn't leave with everyone else.
My four children and four nieces played for another two hours. I apologized immediately. I know we don't know each other and that this was my TIFU but the assumptions are really sad and I'm frightened by my peers' thought processes. Who among us wouldn't apologize to an 8-yo girl you've traumatized? Some of you are projecting some really evil stuff. I feel awful for those of you who have been hurt and found a way to make the story about you. I'm sorry if this story triggered those awful feelings. This was careless mistake and is being compared to malicious patterns. I am very close with my sister and nieces. My family, the kids specifically, is the main reason that they moved back. We've never celebrated a birthday together but we're together far more often than many of my local family members. As critical as this thread became, I'm most surprised that no one has ridiculed me for subjecting my children to 160 minutes of car ride over an 8 yo's birthday party. I mean, where's CPS when you really need them? My tifu wasn't funny but it wasn't malicious or cruel. It had the potential to be funny and if any of my kids had been on the receiving end, they would have thought so. It was their idea and I helped before taking 100% of the blame when it went wrong. For those saying it was a bad gift. GTFO. $60 gets you a ton of, big girl, makeup. She's got a dozen nail polishes. Half a dozen lipsticks. Half a dozen color palettes. Brushes. Sponges. A nail dryer. Body spray. And more. It was 100% her favorite gift and was the only thing she paid any attention to for the fillowing. 23 hours. Kiss my ass. I think the only screw up here is that you aren't close with your niece. My extended family plays pranks all the time. But it's not much of thing with my parents, siblings. Since we lived across the country and could rarely make the trip to visit. I wasn't close with them when I was young. I was the subject of several pranks where I didn't get the joke, find it funny at first but since I wasn't the only one I usually got over it quickly. Maybe have Nisa's parents help her plan a prank against you and your kids? I feel like one of the few odd ones out who think that buying granny panties for a kid you're celebrating with for the first time is not a good move. I did this to my nephew when he was around that age. He wanted Pokemon cards but I told him they were impractical and I would get him underwear instead. I wrapped up the cards in XXXL Whitey Titus. My sister and Bill kept commenting on what a great gift it was since he could grow into them. He was mad at first but he found it funny once he found the cards. My aunt and uncle did something similar one Christmas. First gift I opened from them coal. Second gift coal. It was all laughs until the third one was coal too and my 9 year old self was devastated as my aunt. Hastily retrieved my real gift. I can promise you it left no lasting damage and is still a good story to tell. Maybe I am looking at it too hard but if a family member I didn't know that well did something to me. Like that. At 8, I would be mortified. On more than one level. Are they calling me fat? In front of everyone? As a girl. That would crush my soul. Kids don't always have a sense of humor. Why would you not get to know her first? Kinda hint at it or something. I love to do pranks but would never do something like that to the new kid or one that young in front of that many PPL. Seems more cruel. This is the type of thing you do to an adult. Giving an 8 year old gag gifts is just mean. That's a really sensitive, formative age. Oh god poor girl. She probably felt like everyone was making fun of her and calling her fat on her birthday no less my sister would have enjoyed this kind of prank but i'm way more introverted and hate crowds every time i've had to open gifts in front of a bunch of people has been horrible even when the gifts are nice honestly the best thing you can do is get your niece one-on-one -on -one and honestly apologize 
Don't make excuses or say she overreacted. Just say you thought it would be funny and you were wrong. You shouldn't have tried to prank her and you're very sorry and you won't do it again. Then don't do it again. Let it go. Don't bring it up. Don't say she's being too sensitive and just needs to get over it. Don't, it's just a prank. Bro, her. Just apologize and let her try to erase it from her memory. Maybe in 10 or 20 years. When you two have a closer relationship. She'll be able to laugh about it but now is not that time. This would have been funny for say a 13 year old that you knew well. Or. To spice up an otherwise boring gift of just money. An 8 year old is too young to see this as a joke. Sorry. Gotta love Murphy's Law. You're an idiot. I was traumatized and crying when my mom did that at my birthday party when I was young. To have all my family see me opening a present of new underwear? I went and cried in my room. It was totally mortifying. And they weren't even granny panties. I was just so sad to have my party be the time she'd gift me something like that. I think you did mess up. What a horrible joke. It was traumatic for your niece. My grandmother gave me training bras every year from age 13 to 20. It was not funny but she thought it was. It was cruel and humiliating and just plain weird to mock a child. This is similar. Unfortunately, at 8, and even when we're older, it can be hard to differentiate between a joke and being made fun of. It's entirely possible she has body insecurities. Is she into makeup because it's fun or because she thinks she isn't pretty? So her mind may have been in bias confirmation mode versus seeing what you intended. You may have unintentionally created a traumatic moment for her. I'm disappointed in her parents. Honestly. It sounds like they just see it as a joke and something to laugh off. But if she isn't supported and her emotions validated now, she'll likely carry it with her. I hope you try to reconcile with her and make it up to her because this is a pretty strong reaction. I'm glad you do actually think you foo. Take your niece's feelings seriously. And do not trust you Bill. Or even her mother. I presume that this is just fine because it did not affect them. Which is lucky for you. Because if they felt you'd harm their daughter. Oh boy would that go badly. They can see this from an adult perspective. She's only 8. Just turned 8. In fact. The real crime is dollar store makeup. There's some good brands but overall a lot of them are low quality and contain chemicals. Look up Claire's makeup headlines. For $74 she could have gotten an eyeshadow palette, brushes, lip gloss, and a fun highlight palette. That's the real problem tears of joy. I'd have just gotten her a gift certificate to buy whatever she wnanted and been done with it. This is actually so funny. Maybe niece is the wrong child for this but hopefully the makeup made up for it. Wow. Party pranks going wrong is more common than I realized. My version was a game of pass the parcel where the prize was a Brussels sprout. Outcome was tears so yeah. I can also confirm that party pranks do not seem to go well. Oh gosh this reminds me of a secret Santa gift exchange we did at school. I was about 11 and had to make a gift for a girl in my class. I built a house and had a secret bottom in the house with the gift she wanted. She couldn't find it. And got so upset lmao. I had to pretend to find it and lift the bottom part of the house. To lessen it I'd suggest playing dirty Santa and with good gifts attach gags with them or gag gifts. With something worth it. My family used to do it and one of the gag gifts was a cheap ceramic bunny with I swear drugged out eyes. It was a gag but every year made a returned as crack bunna. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. 
Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.